Well, I've decided to change the brake discs <coughs> on my uh, Hyundai 20 today. So you love when a dealer serviced uh, car hasn't got any copper slip or anything. There's been something on there at some point, but these bolts are in really tight and there's not even a bit of copper slip in there for the uh, for the retaining screws for the disc either. Folk wonder why they do stuff at home. <clears throat> you want to get the job done, done it, do it right. <clears throat> the other thing I've noticed is, this is a stupid friggin' design. You can't get a socket on because of this fucking uh, union to the caliper. <clears throat> so I'm just hoping I can get that, that out enough to, to slide it off, but uh, that's a great fucking idea. Well done, Korean engineers. But uh, anyway, I'm changing the, the discs because they're they're looking a bit shit really but uh, so two 14 millimeter bolts one there and one down here which is now on the floor and then there's the two um, Phillips head screws and uh, that's about it so next thing to take the caliper off I hope you uh, you folks know how to take a wheel off because that's the part you need to do before this Well, <clears throat> not a hint of uh, any anti-seize compound in the bolts that go into the uh, the pad carrier. That's another plus for dealer history. Um, pretty shocking, really. The pads and everything were working fine. It looks like somebody's put some sort of copper grip at some point. Copper slip. Oh, and there's not even... Uh, the shim. No shim for the pads at the top here either. So, yeah. Take it to your local Hyundai dealer and get a really good service for looks of things. So, uh, anyway. I shall attempt to do it as an, an unqualified uh, mechanic. And I'll put it all back together. So hopefully the uh, the disc comes off okay. It is looking a bit, uh, bit crusty but it's still still working fine. Uh, it's probably a millimetre off on each side, the looks of things. But uh, it's time to replace it anyway. It's done 78,000 miles now. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That's uh, another plus for a full dealer service history. Pretty shocking, really. But uh, anyway, the brakes are working, but they'll be hopefully better by the time we put it back together. Well, I've just had to hammer the disc off. As you can see, the hammering uh, was quite uh, successful. That's the first time I've ever had to hammer a disc off, get it off a car. Complete lack of any uh, grease or lubrication there to aid it coming off. But uh, that's the disc. Sure, it'll still be functional, but uh, it's not going to be used anyway. So, time to brush some uh, copper slip onto that and get it back on. Well, there's a little bit more copper slip on it this time than probably needs to be. I'll wipe off the excess with some uh, kitchen roll. But uh, there's my trusty pot of copper slip. So uh, next thing is to clean up these pads, clean up the bolts, put a bit of copper slip on them, and then pop them back in. Well, <clears throat> I've got the uh, pads back in with some grease, copper slip there. Um, the carrier bolts have all been copper slipped as well. I just need to uh, put some copper slip on the uh, caliper and then bolt it all back together. And hopefully that's pretty much job done. This is the stuff I used for the rubber parts. Uh, double check the sliders in here, they're moving 
quite nicely very freely the one at the bottom's not quite so smooth moving but it's moving fine I put some extra grease in there so uh, anyway caliper back on and then on to the next side well that's one fully assembled uh, new brake disc uh, using the existing pads and uh, copper slipped up that's just the excess on there so pads are greased slides were checked um, the 14 millimeter bolts were uh, greased up with copper slip and as I say inside there the hell they are the uh, sorry there the 17 millimeter pad carrier uh, bolts were greased up the uh, disc retaining screws were greased up with copper slip as well and I've put a liberal coating of uh, copper slip I'll just wipe off <clears throat> wipe off the excess uh, copper slip on the, the wheel nut studs and uh, put the wheel back on and it should be good to go so hopefully this will help somebody if they're not sure how to change the brakes um, I have no idea why the uh, the shim for the upper part of the, the the pads is missing in the carrier, but uh, I don't think it's really going to make any difference. Um, the only thing is I could perhaps maybe get a slight amount of contamination of uh, grease on the brakes, uh, on the discs, but uh, I'm not really too worried about that. The brakes are pretty good as they are. So anyway, <clears throat> next thing to do is uh, put, put back on the wheel. <clears throat> and get on the other side. Okay, hopefully this is helpful. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Well, I'm on the uh, passenger side, right-hand drive vehicle, so left-hand side as you're sitting in the car. Uh, same thing again, absolutely bone dry. Um, fasteners, bolts, whatever you want to call them. These were a real bitch to get out again. Uh, you really need, I think, an impact driver to do it properly. Um, the caliper nuts, uh, bolts, sorry. Again, no grease at all on them. I'm probably going to have to hammer this disc off again by the looks of things. I notice on this particular thing, there isn't a spare uh, thread. So you can take, you can normally take these um, screws and you put them in against the surface and you draw it off like a puller so um, and then you can see as well totally dry the uh, the bolt the captive bolt as it were because you can't get out for that stupid union so you need a ring spanner for that otherwise you'll just end up rounding off the uh, bolt, head, bolt head but uh, I just got to take this one off probably hammer it off as I say and then put it put the new one on uh, get it lubed up with a copper slip and double check the uh, sliders and all the rest on the caliper but uh, this one was harder to get off than the other side um, but it's a pretty straightforward thing and I notice as well there's no uh, shims or slides or whatever for the top side of the caliper here uh, the, the carrier for the pads but uh, I'd say I don't think it's really a, a big deal but uh, I'm used to seeing them in there Well, <clears throat> I've cleaned up the uh, calipers, uh, the rubbers. These were a bit sticky actually, the slides on this one. Possibly should have actually just changed them, but I don't have any uh, parts. Um, so I just cleaned them up, greased it. Uh, <clears throat> lots of nice grease as you can see, and the, uh, the slide, the caliper slide retaining bolts, they're all nicely <clears throat> green, uh, greased up with copper slip. Um, the only thing now is I've got to compress the uh, the piston and then slip it back over once I put the uh, pads in. So uh, I'm just going to put a bit of grease on the pads, on the uh, on the slides. Again, there's the, the shim or whatever you call it, the uh, anti-rattle clips. Um, they're missing from this particular car. Whether they're supposed to be there or not, I don't know, but I think every car I've ever had has had them fitted. 
but uh, there wasn't a problem with the brakes before just simply that the, the discs were needing change so that's it for the moment uh, I'm just going to get everything back together and I'll take another bit of video Well, that's the uh, caliper all put back together. Plenty of uh, grease, as you can see. Um, so there's copper slip on the uh, retaining nuts again. There's copper slip behind this entire area. Uh, I've redone the slides. Um, and then a 17mm retaining nuts for the caliper slides, so caliper guides uh, have been greased up. Same with the 14 millimeters. There, so that's good, excellent. Time to put the wheel back on and then get my hands washed and have a nice cup of coffee. Well, that's it all back together. I uh, see I'm going to need to get myself a valve dust cap, but uh, everything's uh, greased up, nice and shiny looking. Wheel uh, nuts are all tightened up. So I'll get this video up on YouTube. Uh, the next one I'm going to do will be the rears. Uh, they're starting to get a little bit uh, rusty. Not quite as much uh, contact on the pads. But uh, that's the job for the next time. No doubt it's needing plenty bloody uh, grease everywhere. Same as the first time. So, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found it uh, useful. Just a very simple uh, brief video, not that many tools required, you need a 14mm uh, socket, you need a 14mm ring spanner, you'll need a 17mm socket and I would use a pair of uh, like a G clamp just to compress the, uh, the piston. Um, I've got high melting point grease. I've also used, uh, this is like red rubber grease, but it's yellow, Ceratec, and a uh, trusty pot of uh, copper slip. Apart from that, I used a trolley jack, and wheel brace, so all pretty simple. Oh yeah, and a hammer for uh, freeing off uh, rusty nuts and bolts. But apart from that, that's it. Okay. Bye for now.